Next, we're going to create a setup for this job. Setup is where you tell Fusion 360 what type of toolpaths to create, which Fusion models are parts, which Fusion models are fixtures, and how big the raw part will be. Fusion will help you determine the size of your raw stock by examining the part model. You can easily add additional material to your stock for rough cutting and work holding. The origin function lets you define where zero will be located on the part. On the post processing tab, you can define the NC program number, add a program comment to the NC header, and select the machine work coordinate offset to use. Before we start on our setup, let's make sure that our units are correct. Here in the tree, we can find units MM. So I'm currently in metric. Depending on how your system is configured, it may have switched this to inch when you brought the part in. You can also have separate units for design and cam. So right now in design mode, we're in metric. When I come over here and switch to cam mode, you see mine changed to inch. I want to work on this part in metric, so when I click on that, I can change this back to millimeters. And we'll OK that. Now let's start on that setup. If we come over here to setup, I can either pull down and create a new setup, or I can select the icon for setup from the toolbar. The first thing we want to tell it is our operation type. We want to set this to turning or mill turn. You can see it immediately switched my stock to a round stock for turning. Based on how this part is positioned, the work coordinate system orientation should show the axis pointing in the correct direction and zero at the front nose of the part. For turning, the Z axis should always point through the center line of the cylinder. So for our work coordinate system, our Z and X axis orientation is fine the way it is. Under home position, we have five millimeters. I want you to set this to 150. The home position is the distance that the turret will move away from the part before doing an index. Right now, this distance represents a z-axis move of 150 millimeters away from the front nose of the part. Now let's switch to the stock tab. Right now we have a fixed size cylinder, but we're going to change this to a relative size cylinder. So it's relative to the size of the model. For our example, I want to add two millimeters to the outside, two millimeters to the front, 12 millimeters to the back side of the part, and we're going to tell it to round up these numbers to the nearest five millimeters. On the post-processing tab, you can define the NC program number. This typically is output at the start of the NC program as an O number. The program comment will appear at the start of the NC program. Use this to describe the job or part number. Machine WCS lets you select the work offset used at the NC machine to shift zero. Typically, this is output in the NC program as a G54 through G59, but will vary between NC controls. Zero or one will output the first available fixture offset. Two will output the second available fixture offset. Set the WCS offset to one. And I'm gonna add a comment here that says turning sample part. And we can OK this, and there's our stock setup and our part ready to be machined.